My name is Rachel and we're here today to talk about the public health impacts of airplanes that are too loud, too low, and too persistent over communities really all over the country. We're here because we need a redesign of our airspace, we need a modernization, we believe in the uh, environmental goals that are on the NextGen website, but we strenuously object to both the planning and the implementation of NextGen in the NorCal Metroplex. The, the implementation was done without a full environmental review. There were never any noise metrics actually taken in our area. The result has been uh, noise corridors that are sacrificial in nature, so that communities not only adjacent to the airport, but as far away as East Palo Alto, Los Altos, Saratoga, and Santa Cruz are now under these domes of noise where planes are flying low, loud, and persistently over their homes. This is resulting in lack of sleep, lack of work productivity, inability to study, students having a hard time concentrating in class, elderly, and many people having a hard time even enjoying their retirement in homes that they purchased 30, 40, 50 years ago. We are demanding a redesign of the Metroplex. We are demanding that Congress also uh, police the FAA and provide new rules for them where noise is part of their mission. And we are just requiring that this happen immediately. Hi, I'm Mark Schall. I'm here today protesting the next-gen implementation in NorCal. Uh, near San Francisco. The FAA was supposed to have modernized the aircraft, the uh, navigation across country. That has been a failure so far. They're four years behind. However, what they have done is basically uh, made some quick changes to so, so they can have some results. And basically all they've really done is taken existing noise abatement approach and departure routes and replaced them with routes that are directly over communities as far as 30 and 50 miles away. They've reduced altitudes over those communities to 4,000 feet. And they have basically ruined people's lives that have in communities that have been there long before SFO or other airports uh, existed. And this isn't just in San Francisco. It, over Georgetown in, in Washington, D.C., they moved the routes from over the Potomac to right over Georgetown. That's both departure and landing routes. In San Diego, the departure routes used to go out over the sea. Now they're moving them directly over populations. This makes absolutely no sense. There were no uh, hearings, no community input. The noise levels are impossible. There are no real savings. It's a disaster and it needs to be reversed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look at that. <laughs> Great. Too loud. 